So there are two parts to the chapter uh, for a polymerization. One part is how are uh, the polymers that we're going to study, how they're formed. And second part will be the properties of these polymers. So the making part is the easy part. First of all, just a recap from AS level, you should know that you've done the formation of addition polymers in AS. From the uh, chapter of alkenes where carbon carbons have double bonds and those monomers were to add on to each other without giving off a soft smaller molecule to make addition polymers. There is no loss of molecules when you make an addition polymer and the resulting polymer contains all the carbon single bonds now. The double bonds become single bonds. Now, we will study the properties of addition, additional, addition polymers towards the end of the chapter. That's the end of the chapter. Now the notes coming are the first 35 slides. The second half of the notes are going to come tomorrow. I haven't finished putting them together. But, so we will discuss the properties of addition polymers at the end of this chapter, which is tomorrow, not today. I mean, sorry, Monday. And what properties like, why does PVC behave a certain way? Why does Teflon behave a certain way? We've done a bit of that, but we'll do more of that. And certain properties are good for them to be additional polymers, while the next thing we're doing, which is condensation polymer, that's our focus for this class. So what do we have in addition polymers? Oh, sorry, condensation polymers. That's something that you've seen in O-levels and we were going to do it in A2s now. Condensation polymers are polymers formed when the monomers link together to form a large chain molecule. But when they do that, they give off small molecules. The name comes from the fact that the reaction is the type of reaction is a condensation reaction. A condensation reaction generally means either water is given off or HCl. The polymers that we have may have pani hi milega ya HCl milega. The difference is that in this case, if you use carboxylic acids to, as monomers, then you're going to get water. If you're going to use acyl chlorides as the monomers, then you're going to use HCl. That's the only difference. You're going to get small molecules. And in all the condensation polymers we will see, we'll have to either use a carboxylic acid group or an acyl chloride group. Q? Because the chapter is all about having the carboxylic acid react with alcohol to make ester or acyl chloride react with alcohol to make ester or carboxylic acid and amine react to make amide or acyl chloride and amine react to make amide. Acyl chloride and acids behave the same way in polymerization. The difference is that acyl chlorides will give you HCl and acids will give you H2O. The farak is O on the, the OH and the H, CL ka. But again, the reactions for you to remember are alcohol and acid or alcohol and acyl chloride to make ester and amine and acid or amine and acyl chloride. Dono mein H2O ya HCl diya ga sirf. One makes esters and the other makes amides. The two main types of poly, uh, po condensation polymers we'll be studying are polyesters and polyamides, meaning multiple ester linkages or multiple amide linkages. We'll focus on polyesters first. Having done that, then we move on to polyamides. Now, so what are polyesters? Polyesters basically are a polymer containing a lot of ester linkages. This is a sample of a polyester. Repeat unit banayava yaha. If you keep on repeating this, you'll get a lot of polyesters. And why? Because you have this bond right here. You see this one when I'm highlighting in blue? Uh, clearly you can't see it in blue. Okay, yeah. This one is your ester linkage. Okay? And this is a repeat unit. How do I know this is a repeat unit? Because you got the square brackets. And you keep repeating it n times. This CO will come here. You'll get OCO and that's a polyester. Again, don't worry if you don't get this. Be coming up. Now, there are two ways of making polyesters, guys. Even if the molecule, let's assume that whatever I say about carboxylic acid and alcohol is true for acyl chloride and alcohol. 
फर्क क्या है कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड में वी सी सी डबल ओ एच ग्रुप एंड एसल प्रोवाइड में वी सी दी एल ग्रुप जस्ट टू री कैप वेन दीज गर्स रियक्ट विद एल्कोहल दल्कोहल लूज इज दी एज एंड दसिड लूज इज दी ओ एच टू मेक एस्टर एंड विद एसल क्लोराइड दी एल्कोहल लूज दी एच एंड दी एसल क्लोराइड लूज इज द सी एल एंड यहाँ बनता है एस्टर लिंकेज सो दस दी एस दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर द बेसिक थियोरी ऑफ Esterification that you have to remember. Okay, the acid, the alcohol only loses the H, and the acid loses the OH to make water, or the acyl chloride loses the Cl to make HCl, and CO bonds with O. CO bonds with O. Now there are two ways to make polyesters. Okay, the most basic one, that's the one that you've even seen in O levels, is to take a dicarboxylic acid and you might remember these boxes also seen in o levels because we don't care what's in the middle as long as we have two ends paired two carboxylic acids which uh, let me hope that if i use stronger color you might be able to see that color this is the carboxylic acid group on the right and this one on the left you see that these are the two carboxylic acid groups and you take a diol and the diol if i in color with blue these blue areas are your diols diol ka oh and diol ka oh okay so the way this works is guys then if you take a dicarboxylic acid and a diol what they do is multiple molecules of the dicarboxylic acid diol dicarboxylic acid diol align themselves in this form so that the dicarboxylic acids ki the acid group faces the alcohols in a very you know a uh, regular pattern kyun because the acid and the alcohol loses the oh and the h to make water and like this coo makes this bond right here and then this coo makes this bond right there and then this coo makes this bond and continue and the chain can continue reacting this way and that way so as long as you have a dicarboxylic acid and a diol a dicarboxylic acid diol they can keep on reacting to make something like this this is a polyester now i'll show you in more detail about the most popular polyester we know we'll repeat this i'm repeating this like 5 6 times uh the most popular polyester we know is sterilene also known as pet iski plastic bottles aajkal aap log peete pani us pet ki bani hoti poly ester this is a pet or sterilene i forgot what the e and the t stand for something something Now look at this. How do I know this is a polyester? First of all, it's a polymer because the chains don't seem to end. Then in the polymer function, in the polymer main chain, may I can see some things. I can see these functional groups right here. C O O C O O O C O C O O, and these are all my ester linkages. Ha. Huh. एक में सी ओ टू है फिर ओ सी ओ फिर सी ओ टू फिर ओ सी ओ एंड इवन दैट विल पैटर्न विल बी करिंग इन योर हेड लेटर बाद में बात करेंगे पैटर्न क्यों रिवर्स हो रहा है ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज यू गॉट एसिड एल्कोहल एसिड एल्कोहल सो दो दे विल बी अ रिवर्सल ऑफ दिस पैटर्न बिकॉज अगर पहले एसिड आ रहा है फिर एल्कोहल आ फिर एसिड फिर एल्कोहल सो द सी ओ ओ ऑफ द एसिड का बिकॉज इसमें इस तरह में एसिड पहले या फिर एल्कोहल आ रहा है फिर इसके लिए एल्कोहल पहले फिर एसिड आ रहा है फिर एसिड है फिर अल्कोहल बिकॉज द वे दिस वर्क इज इज दैट देर आर टू मोनोमर्स वन मोनोमर हैज डाइकाबोक्सिलिक एसिड एंड वन मोनोमर हैज अ डायऑल ऑब्वियसली द कलर कोडिंग हेयर इज ऑल्सो डन फॉर अ रीजन द रेड टू मेक वन रिपीट यूनिट दिस इज वन रिपीट यूनिट इवन दो इट कंटेन्स टू मोनोमर्स दैट होल थिंग इज रिपीट यूनिट बिकॉज दिस होल थिंग इज बींग रिपीटेड राइट हेयर एंड देन इन ग्रीन इज रिपीटेड राइट देयर and that is one big repeat unit repeat unit repeat unit now this guy is a very poly popular polyester in synthetic fibers in food containers these guys are also made by pet to disposable milte hain aapko bakhane ke liye bartan wo bhi pet se now how is this made let me look at take a closer look so let's go back to the monomers of this guy Now the monomer again, like I said, diacid and diol. चाहिए आपको 
یہ وہ پرٹیکولر ڈائی ایسڈ ڈائی والا ہے جہاں ایسڈ کی میں بینزین رنگ ہے سو پوزیشن نمبر ون اینڈ فور پہ ایسڈ گروپ لگا ہوا ہے سو دس از بینزین ون فور ڈائی کارب آکسلک ایسڈ بیکاز ان دا بینزین رنگ پوزیشن ون اینڈ فور آف دی ایسڈ گروپ اینڈ اٹس این ایتھین ڈائی آل سو ٹو کاربن ڈائی آل ٹوگیدر دے میک می دا ٹیریلین پالیمر دیٹ وی از ویری پاپولر کس طرح بناتے ہیں اینڈ ناؤ ایم لوکنگ ایٹ دا ڈیٹیل آف دا ہول تھنگ ایف یو ڈنٹ گیٹ اٹ لیٹس لک ایٹ اسٹیپ بائی اسٹیپ پالیمر بنتا کس طرح ایسڈ گروپ اور الکحل دی ایسڈ اینڈ دی الکحل کا دی ایسڈ گروپ کا او ایچ اینڈ دی الکحل کا ایچ کمبائن ٹو لوز واٹر اینڈ یہ ایسٹر لنکیج بن گیا اب یہ ایک دفعہ ہوا ہے اب کیا ہوگا دس ایسڈ کا او ایچ ول ریئیکٹ وتھ دی او ایچ اف دی نیکسٹ الکحل ڈائیول ہیئر اینڈ دیٹ ول میک واٹر دس او ایچ ول ریئیکٹ وتھ دی او ایچ اف دی ایسڈ ٹو میک واٹر بٹ دی ایسڈ ول ہیو انادر ایسڈ گروپ آن دی ادر سائیڈ سو دس ول کیپ آن ہیونگ چین بائی چین بائی چین ا گڈ وے ٹو امیجن دس از یہاں چین چار کا لے لو ہیئر آئی ہیو گاٹ فور مونومرز بٹ دے ایکچولی اونلی گونٹ میک می ٹو ریپیٹ یونٹ بیکاز دس از ون مونومر آف دی ایسڈ I have color coded here so the acid ka OH and the alcohol ka H is removed to make this water and uh, this uh, CO is right there with this O right there and then this OH of the alcohol finds the other acid they combine and then the acid ka the other end of OH makes this so This guy, when I have this one, eventually you will continue having this reaction, this reaction, this. This is just two molecules reacting, Abhi. Four molecules, sorry. Yaha, yaha, yaha. This will continue to react with another acid group here. This will continue to react with another alcohol group. And that alcohol group will react with another acid group and so on. And so this will keep on happening. And in this case, you got CO, OCO, COO, OCO, COO. You can even predict the pattern now. And you just keep repeating this chunk right here. The one that is the acid and the alcohol. This chunk is repeated right here again. And then continues to repeat. Eventually, this is how you write the polymer as. It'll be N of each of the two monomers. N maybe, maybe a thousand of them each. We'll make a thousand doubled the repeat unit. Because the repeat unit will have both the acid and the alcohol. And you'll make one less water because the, the two ends will not react. No? So we'll have 9,999 ester linkages if you take a thousand each of these. And 9,999, no, 1,999, sorry. So if I have a thousand of each, I would make 999 of the ester linkages, 999 of waters because one of the ends is left. Because wo bilkul end bala hai. But that's how you make the polymer. Now, When you do this, when you have two, two monomers, each diacid and diol, this is what we call, we know as a type 2 polymer. So I was saying was that, now this is the fun part. The, 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 the division by name is not in your syllabus, but it makes you think a certain way, which is why I'm doing this. There are two types of polymers, type 1 and type 2. What you just saw is a type 2 polymer. Type 2 is when you have two different monomers having two different functional groups react together. So you have two different monomers. One monomer in this particular case contains either a diacid or a diacyl chloride. And the other in this contain contains a diol. We saw the two diols. This can also hold true for amides because we will do it Like a diamide. And generically, all type 2 polymers look like this. You got diacids and diols combined together to make polyester linkages like that. And this way, alcohol diol will go, this way, one more acid diol will go, then alcohol. Now, this is one way of making it. The other way of making it is called type 1 polymers. And usme, because our main concern is to have two different functional groups react. In a recurring fashion. The other way we can do this is to have only one monomer containing both functional groups. 
اس میں اٹ نیڈنگ انادر مولیکیول ریئیکٹ وتھ اٹ ریئیکٹ وتھ سیلف لائک دس گائے ہیز این ایسڈ اینڈ این الکوہل گروپ یو ٹیک ٹو آف دیز دی ایسڈ آف ون ول ریئیکٹ وتھ دی الکوہل آف دی ادر فار ایگزامپل یہ تھا لیکٹک ایسڈ ہم نے ایس میں بھی کیا تھا لیکٹک ایسڈ ہیز این کاربوکسلک ایسڈ گروپ اینڈ این الکوہل دس از انادر مولیکیول آف لیکٹک ایسڈ ایسڈ اینڈ این الکوہل What will happen is the acid and the alcohol will react together to make, in this case, COO group. And this acid will find the other alcohol to react with. So in this case, you'll only need one monomer. When you need two poly monomers, it's called a copolymer. You need two monomers. This only need one monomer. This is type one polymers. Acha, farak kiya kya hota hai? دل گیو یو ڈفرینٹ ڈائریکشن آف دا سکسیسو فنکشنل گروپس ہاؤ دس از ایگزامپل آف دس گائز دس از ٹائپ ون دس از ٹائپ ٹو ٹائپ ون میں ایل آلویز بی دا سیم ڈائریکشن سی او او سی او او سی او او سی او فار دوز ہو ٹیک بایو پروٹینس آر ٹائپ ون پالیمرس اٹس دا سیم سیکوینس بیکاز سیم گائے ہیز این ایسڈ اینڈ این آئی مین ٹک 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 Type 1 will have the same sequence, a smaller monomer and the same sequence. Type 2 will mean the sequence will be reversed. So, kahin OCO aega, kahin COO. Phir OCO, COO. And so, when you see a polymer, it don't get confused if the sequences are out. That should tell you that, yeah, agar sequence same as the type 1 hai. Agar sequence is flipping every other sequence mein, it's a type 2. And generally, generally, man-made are mostly type 2s. For example, terylene, nylon. Nylon is the polyamide we, we have made. And naturally existing one polymer is the protein, which is the type 1. Lactic acid, also found. But the, you can, I'm not saying that we only make type 2. We, can also make, we also make type 1. The difference is that the, the sequencing of the atom. Sometimes we want that sequence. Sometimes we want this sequence. Because the modern day chemistry is all about polymers. That's why they've increased the number of uh, the, testing marks for polymers. Because really, material use, that's what we use now for poly polymers. We want to have biodegradable, we want to be able to get certain properties out of them. The more popular polymers are Kevlar, if you might have heard of also. Nylon, polyesters for clothing. Anyways, so what will you be asked out of all of this? Well, they'll give you monomers to make polymer. They will give you polymer to figure out the repeat units. They will give you polymer to figure out the monomers. And then the properties of polymers, which was, I said, na, is tomorrow's class. Today's class is to make the polymers and the repeat units and the repeat units and the monomers. So, if I look at side number 18, using this, draw two repeat units. Now, I know we can draw them out, but it just becomes a long-winded process. Especially if I have to, oh, I can do this. We could probably do this in terms of skeletal formulae. So if A, which is slide number 18, mein diya wa hai, if I look at A, I got the OH on how many carbons? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then OH. And carbon number 3, 1, 2, 3, has a CH3. And the acid is... Carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh. So yeah. So now, let's make the... Repeat unit for this. Two repeat units, by the way. So one of these combined will make one repeat unit. You have to combine two of these. So how do you do that? Remember, the alcohols lose the H and the acids lose the OH. So starting from the alcohol on the left, I'll have the O, H gone, one, two, three, four, five, then O, and that reacts with the acid. So now, this is the acid. O, 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड द सेकेंड वन नाउ दिस रिपीट द होल थिंग ऑल ओवर अगेन ब्रिंग दैट्स so i took the repeat unit copied it and is finishing off here so that's me tricking you guys into doing too but this is one repeat unit and from here we has another repeat unit obviously this will continue so yeah there are marks for showing these continuity bonds you should ha huh, i don't write the end because they've asked me to make a certain number of repeat units so i don't write the n for that if they say draw the polymer i would have only made one repeat unit and put an n there yes also learn to make skeletal formula for polymers because they are pushing that agenda forward in the exams also more skeletal formula with polymers also and obviously it's just faster why bother about doing anything else so you can probably do the next example yourself later so now okay so now how do i generate repeat units from polymers Now here, if you notice, it is the polyester. I've already highlighted the functional groups, right? Now, is it a type two, type one? I mean, if you might remember, well, you know what? It's easier to say this comes from two monomers or one monomer. If the sequencing is always the same, it comes from one monomer. But here, the sequences keeps reversing, right? So there are two monomers for this. so what either you can find the two monomers and then write the repeat unit or find the repeat unit separately and find the monomers separately okay when it's and it's reversing like this it's because it you know it's two monomers then two sets of basically the two sets uh, the molecules two ester linkage is long like if you notice here from one from any one ester linkage This is the first ester linkage, long cis molecule, and this is the second one long. So basically, between the first and the third ester linkage, के बीच में आपका पूरा repeat unit आ जाएगा. Now you can see it and do it. You can learn a way of doing it. Now the very simplest thing is, if you want to learn how to do this, is that first you figure out this may is this because of two monomers or one monomer. This one is because of two monomers. so two monomers mein what you do is you first find the carboxylic acid the the o or the carboxylic acid either way of the yeah either the first carboxylic acid is co or the second one whichever one you want or even this you find the leftmost car wherever you find the first carboxylic acid group because remember an ester is coo right and the acid gave me the co and the alcohol gave me the o so start from from that bond right there because that's the bond that would have made between an alcohol and an ester so either this bond or this bond or this bond or this bond or this bond either of them so let's say you say i mean yahan se shuru karna which is different from the example here but it doesn't really matter you can do either or So if I start from there, I realize I've, I'm I'm going to write. So this is my diol, OO, and this is my diacid, and I go back to the same bond right here. It's me, my two monomers are there, but the same CO. So I I got my diol, OOs, and my diacid, COCO, and this is my repeat unit. The example shown here was instead of starting with CO, I started from this bond right here. So I start from this bond, then I had my diacid first, and then my diol, and then if I start from here, my repeat unit would end right there, and that's how you identify repeat units. And monomers or is it not? Because you just keep breaking all the ester linkages, just keep breaking them in between, and see what are the common monomer units. Because you have to only do this. मोनोमर ढूंढने के लिए ये बॉन्ड तोड़ने सारे के सारे फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंड दिस इज नॉट ड्रॉन हेयर लेट से आई गिव यू अ मोनोमर लाइक दिस हम्म 
Let's say this is a chain of polymer, and you have to figure out the monomers for this or the repeat unit. First of all, you'll realize that are the as ester groups nikalenge aap. So the easiest thing to do is highlight them for yourself. This is my ester linkage. This is my ester linkage. This is my ester linkage. They seem to be COO, COO, COO. They're all in the same direction, which tells me what that I have one monomer. With both functional groups, type one, one monomer with type two is for two monomers, type one is for one monomer. Type one same. That means I'm only a one monomer. Now, how to find the monomer? Literally, do the same thing I just mentioned. The ester linkage is your key because that's the bond that made to make the ester. This bond, the C O or O के बीच में bond था उसने बनाया था आपका ester linkage. उसको तोड़ें. इसको तोड़ें हाँ. And then find the same bond again. Yeah. Then find the same bond again. But this you realize are the same thing. But in skeletal, me, it flip ho gaya. Because this is O C H C H three C O O C H C H three C O. And if it is difficult, write it for yourself. O H C H C H three. सी ओ लगा है मुझे ये तो डैन से अच्छा यार ये क्या है फिर ओ सी एच सी एच थ्री सी ओ एंड दे आर द सेम थिंग सो दैट इज माई रिपीट यूनिट एंड आई ऑल्सो गिव यू योर मोनोमर न मोनोमर में क्या डालेंगे आप आई दर ओ एच लगा के आप एसिड एंड एल्कोहल बना दो या एसिड एंड एस एल्क्लोराइड बना दो विच एवर वन यू वॉन्ट आई ऑलवेज लाइक द एस एल्क्लोराइड मोर आई हैव थिंग फॉर दैम So, but you can make an acid also. Are you following? Okay. So now here, let's look at this. Can we generate repeat units from this? Now, first of all, C O O O C O C O O O C O. So, ये कौन सा टाइप है? टाइप टू. And literally, always. Break from the middle of the ester linkage, then you realize that oh, this is the same ester linkage but a different order. Find the same order of ester linkage. See, this is C O O, this is O C O, so now the same order. Find the same order of C O O. Ya gayi? Break it from the middle, and that is your repeat unit. The middle of the ester linkage. To the next middle of the ester linkage in the same direction. This is the same ester linkage, but in the opposite direction. Same ester linkage, same direction. Break it from here. This is your repeat unit. You could have started from here also, from here also if you wanted. See, but yah se shuru karte. If you had started from there, then you would have gone all the way to um, right there. But that's the same thing. It started from a different end, and once you got the repeat units, you can also figure out the monomers, right? Okay with everybody? So let's move on. So this other example you can try at home. Easy stuff. The last thing left is polyamides. Now, what's the difference between polyester and polyamides? The only difference is the functional group. Polyamides have the amide functional group, while polyesters have the ester. Polyesters are made by acids and alcohols. Polyamides are made by acids and amines. Or polyesters are made by acyl chlorides and alcohols, and these are made by acyl chlorides and amines. Okay. Now, the link they are linked by the amide bond. Same bond found in proteins. But if it's found in proteins, and we will be doing proteins separately, they are called a peptide linkage. Okay. Nylon was the first synthetic polyamide. Now all polyamides work like this. Again, the same idea: a dicarboxylic acid, diamine, diamine, no, instead of diol, because you need to repeat. Di is only putting you up. Or be the amino acid that has an acid and an amine group, and you can keep repeating. We already done amino acids ka more dipeptide, tripeptides. A polypeptide will be a 
type 1 monopolymer for polyamides. So, we are type 2 kar because I want to go into proteins next class. Next, next class, sorry. Pele properties and proteins. So, yeah, we have this. Dicarboxylic acid, diamine combined. For example, this is nylon. This is the dicarboxylic acid, diamine, dicarboxylic acid, diamine, the acid OH and the alcohol, or the amine H, the acid OH and the amine H. Same cheese again. It's make it instead of COO, it's CONH. CONH. But now you can see the sequencing is reversed. CONH and it's CO. CONH and it's CO. Because ye kya hai? type 2. Proteins are type 1. Wo is tarah bante hain. Mene banaya nahi. I should for the next class, I think. Yo is tarah bante hain. Yeh re. C R H. This is the first amino acid. Then the second amino acid. I think we did that already. Thoda sa kiya tha ise, but phir se kar lete And then the third. Isme sequence wo yeh. N H C O N H C O N H C O N H C O N H hota. Type one mein the sequence stays the same. C O N H C O N H C O N H. Type 2 may the sequence is one is CONH, then NHCO, then CONH, then NHCO. This is the, therefore then the polymer of nylon. They'll continue happening and see like and CONH, NHCO, CONH, NHCO, on and on and on and on and on and on. The one polyamide that is the most tested is. Kevlar. So I'm going to do till this and then let you go. Two more minutes left. The beauty of Isme, this is again a type 2 polymer. It is made by a diacyl chloride and a diamine. But outside the functional groups, the, F, the rest of the molecule is just a benzene ring in the, both the monomers. Q, because that's why the property comes from. That's where the property of Kevlar comes from. We know Kevlar to be strong, very, very strong, because it's the layers are very strong, but first to make it, kisra banta hai? This acyl chloride with this one, this one, the next one, and keeps it having the sequence. So you'll see NH, NHCO, CO, NH, NHCO, CO, NH, the same idea. But beach ki chain syrup aap ki kya hai? Benzene ring. So this is a type 2 polyamide. It's used in a lot of clothing, protective wear, bulletproof wear, and blah, blah, blah. And the reason for that is, like all poly, all polyamides, all polymers, in fact, are not just one chain. There are multiple strands held together by intermolecular forces. All polymer, polyamides may just, and even in proteins, this is one strand of Kevlar, this is one strand of Kevlar. And the CONH, CONH make hydrogen bonds. Lone pair, hydrogen bonded to an H. Oh, sorry, hydrogen bonded to a nitrogen. Hydrogen to a nitrogen, that lone will attract a lone pair on the next strand. Imagine there are multiple strands, yaha, yaha, yaha. Polymer mein both strands hote hain. Now, why is this much stronger than nylon? Is that the strands can get much closer to each other. Why? Because they are planar benzene rings. And secondly, these benzene rings are much more compact and in which of van der Waals hain, these are much stronger than the Van der Waals simple nylon could have made. Because unka carbon lamba hota hai. So because for Van, remember Van der Waals ki what you need? The number of electrons? Isme utni electrons chayi honge aapko chhe carbons mein. Which if you compare Kevlar to is in this guy. Nylon. Six carbons, six carbons. But look at how long this chain is. When the chain is that long, per unit length, Aapke jo hydrogen bonds hai, wo der se aayenge. Because inke bhi hydrogen bond hote hai nylon mein. So nylon is strong. That's why you made nylon ropes. But Kevlar is much stronger than nylon. Two reasons. Ek to uski hydrogen uh, bonding is going to be more per unit length. Because the molecules will be closer to each other. Because wo ring aagya aapka. Second, even the Van der Waals are stronger because they are more compact. They have more surface area of attraction. So Kevlar gets to have more Van der Waals, stronger hydrogen bonds and stronger Van der Waals. That's why 
Kevlar becomes so strong. And yes, you can use the equations. I'm sure you can write this out, right? Polymers. The monomers of polymer monosecond. So that's the first part of polymers. Now, you've been given a worksheet. I will give you some questions to try from the worksheet.